everyone, happy holidays. So today we're gonna to do What Are You Reading with Professor Bex and we're gonna use The Polar Express. This is by Chris Van Allsburg and it is actually one of the um, anniversary editions. I think it's like 20 some years this has been around already, which sounds just not possible. Um, but this story is about a little boy who's not really sure what he believes about Christmas and he ends up getting on a train that's headed for the North Pole. And along the way, he meets a lot of people, meets new friends, and he also is given a gift of a bell at the end. So we are going to actually make a maze that will get the bell back to the kid, because in the story, he loses the bell, and we have to find out how he gets it. Or do we know how he gets it? So. I've got a little jingle bell, but you could use anything. You could use a marble or whatever you would like. This box is an old uh, envelope box, but you can use a shoe box. You could use a cereal box or a gift box. And then these are just uh, scrap pieces of cardboard. And corrugated cardboard works really well because it's got a waviness to it, which makes it really nice for bending at right angles. So you can make all these nice square bends which is good for making a maze. And then to stick them, I just use tape. And if you use a piece of tape in an L shape, um, so part of it is on the piece of cardboard that you're putting in, and then the bottom part of it is affixed to the bottom of the box, that works pretty well. I did it on both sides on each of the bends. So it takes a little while to make it, but it's really, really fun. And then the other thing that you could do is mark here along the way, along the maze, where its home is, maybe at the beginning, where the North Pole is at the end, and then along the way, uh, maybe note some of the things that you noticed during the story and where they were in the story. So if the first stop was maybe at um, another little boy's house, you could mark that person's house, or maybe if the next stop was at Hermesheimer's, you could mark that and on and on and on. Now, some of the things that are in the movie, like Hermesheimers, are not in the book, so you could embellish and put it in your maze. But the idea is you put your jingle bell in here, and you want your jingle bell to kind of follow along the maze and get to the other side. Now, I have, you may notice that I've cut spaces all around the outside. It's not really a good idea because then it's super easy to cheat and get your bell to the other side. You, so you want to make sure some of these sides are blocked off so your bell can't get there that easily. So have fun with it. Um, it's a good way to practice mapping. It's a good way to think about angles and how those can work together into these shapes. So have fun with it. Thanks for watching.